Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Prior to season five going live earlier on this week, I was able to sit in on a call with Raven Software, talk to some of the devs about the changes that they are making with season five, both at launch and then also later on into the season. Some things that are really uh, brand new to Warzone, they, they've never really done them before, and also get some further insight into other updates they are working on. And today, we're pretty much going over all of that stuff. I wanna start things off here by talking about actually what Raven started this call off by saying, and that is the fact that they really focused more on Warzone post season one than I think any of us could have expected because when season one dropped of the Vanguard era and Caldera dropped, that was probably the lowest point for Warzone in terms of community sentiment, how everyone was viewing the game. Like it was just not in a good spot. The game was not running well, very poorly optimized, lagging. There were still cheating issues here and there uh, with Ricochet being brand new, of course. Console players couldn't play the game for like two months. Krampus was running around doing his thing. <laughs> Just like it was, it was a rough time for Warzone. And Raven admitted that when we had our first dev call with him, like, yeah, we know we're not in a good state right now. We're not happy. So they essentially started this call off as saying that they didn't want the Warzone Vanguard era to be defined by season one. They wanted it to be more so remembered by what they did to bring the game back after season one. And I gotta say, Looking at it objectively, yes, Caldera might not be your favorite map. The Vanguard weapons might be a bit boring with how they behave in game with their animations and how they're all kind of laser beams. But as far as gameplay goes, they did significantly improve the game from where it was in season one. There's no denying that. So I did really respect the fact that that's how they sort of led things off here, uh, sort of wrapping up the Vanguard content era. But uh, the big thing that I think stemmed from this meeting with Raven is one, the daily updates lasting through essentially the entire first half of season five headed into the season five reloaded updates and also some of the future things are looking on that we were able to talk about in the q a portion of this call so the daily updates now this doesn't mean we're going to see you know major weapon changes every single day or crazy gameplay updates every single day well gameplay updates in a sense but nothing like where they're taking out peak as a poi then bringing it back the next day it's nothing absurd like that this just has to do with what's going to be available to play every single day and you might have seen a glimpse of this via the basic uh playlist preview image that they have listed in the patch notes where you guys can now see essentially every single day uh monday through thursday we're going to see a new playlist update go live and then every single weekend through the first half of season five we're going to see uh, like an ltm playlist update so we're going to see several playlist updates per week every week foreseeable future really for the next few weeks so every single day no matter what whether it is a weekend or it is a weekday we are going to see operation last call quads which is like our little ltm the search and destroy type mode we're always going to have battle royale solos duos trios and quads uh it's been brought up several times in previous calls and also over on twitter by the way if you don't follow me over there feel free to do so at who's immortal would really appreciate it and i see you guys commenting about it all the time plunder has not received a ton of love recently so they made sure that plunder was not going anywhere it is always going to be in the weekday rotation uh so monday through thursday you can always guarantee that plunder is going to be live and on top of that fortunes keep is always is going to be live as well with solos duos trios and quads now alongside that monday through thursday every single day we're going to have one out of four different modes added into the game two caldera options and two rebirth options so caldera it'll either be resurgence quads or iron trials quads and rebirth will either be resurgence quads or rebirth iron trials quads so every single day one of those four modes is going to be live i saw a lot of players saying why did they take out rebirth where is rebirth that it's got a 50% chance of coming back uh, every day through Monday through Thursday, right? Through the entire first half of this season. So just a heads up, Rebirth's not going anywhere. It's just a part of the daily rotation. Obviously, Fortunes keep being the new map. They want players on that one. They want to promote that one a little bit more. Uh, as I'm sure you guys can tell right now, because I believe this video is going up on the weekends. Uh, right now, we have our first weekend playlist update live with Operation Last Call Quads, all the BR stuff. We've got Clash 50 versus 50, which is fantastic for leveling up weapons if you're trying to level up the ex1 and the ra225 go into clash spam bounties it's incredible for that 
we also got all the options for uh resurgence on fortune's keep and uh rebirth quads is live all weekend as well and then for the future weekends we're going to see other ltms uh added in here and there there's going to be a rebirth after dark ltm there's going to be uh buyback solos at one point so they are going all out on the daily updates and weekend updates throughout the entire first half of this season which is really exciting now something that does pique my interest with these daily updates is when they are stopping at least as far as the previews go september 9th is the final weekend day after my birthday that's the final weekend uh that these updates are previewed for and of course the start of the next week september 10th is when or i guess really september 12th is the start of the new week if you will uh that's when call of duty next is happening in the modern warfare 2 beta goes live so usually when those playlist previews stop that's when the mid-season update's going to happen, the week after that on that Wednesday. So are we going to see the Season 5 Reloaded update bring in two new weapons and then also have Call of Duty Next happen the next day and then the MW2 beta happen the day after that potentially? We're going to have to wait and see for a full schedule breakdown. But man, September 12th, that week could be crazy for COD if that's the case. Just something I wanted to point out there. But yeah daily updates are happening now with all sorts of modes so season five is going to have a little bit of something for everyone every single day now as far as our quick q a portion of this call with raven went we didn't see too many things touched on here but we did see some important things brought up uh in conversation here serpentine was a very common uh topic amongst the q a uh questions here because it's a pretty powerful perk a little bit annoying i won't lie up there with combat scout as well uh and as you guys probably saw in the patch notes when we broke them down they are planning on updating serpentine later on into this season to make it so that you have to be tax sprinting for serpentine to be active and i believe that that was updated in those patch notes because of our conversations with raven uh initially they had just talked about how it was going to be uh nerfed so that it doesn't affect uh fire damage or explosive damage and that was it we all were talking about how there were some big issues with Serpentine seeming like it was constantly active the second you broke armor. Whether a player was walking, sprinting, tack sprinting, didn't matter. So uh, the devs are going to be changing Serpentine and nerfing it so it's not going to be uh, active as much after you end up breaking armor, which could seriously impact the perk one meta. That should be pretty exciting. Also on the Garanko, the PTRS sniper rifle. For a long time now, the ammo on that gun has been busted. They wanted to add in lengthened and the various ammo types for that, and uh, they just have not been unlockable. But they are aware of that, which is good news. So they said they were going to look into that. It's on the uh, list of things to do, if you will. It's on the agenda. So hopefully uh, before the end of the Vanguard era, the PTRS, the Garanko uh, tank rifle, will have ammo types available to actually be unlocked. The thing's really not that bad. It's slow and heavy and bulky and awkward, and I don't prefer using it, but... As far as like one shots go, it's a pretty strong sniper for what it's worth. So those are the main things that were touched on in our Q&A. As always, though, that's far from what Raven is working on for future updates. Their Trello board gets updates here and there. Certainly not as many updates as it used to in some of the earlier seasons. I imagine that's just because we're winding down on this era of Warzone. But we do see that frequently being updated. And even that is not all the things being worked on behind the scenes. Uh, they did reiterate that they are always looking at Reddit, at Twitter, at YouTube videos for feedback for you know uh bug highlights saying hey this thing's broken or glitches that are uh coming up in games so they're well aware of far more than what we actually uh you know get told about via the trello border in these calls so they certainly are listening and i do want to say like just again objectively raven has done a very good job bringing warzone back to a much more playable state season one was not a good look for the game and the future was not looking very bright and while yes the season's themes have been a little odd especially this season is a little strange with uh, all the characters from different timelines and whatnot there are controversial things about the game but as far as gameplay goes just pure flat out running into battle royale i do think it's improved quite a bit so i'm uh, i'm glad to see that evolve over the course of time but that being said that is going to wrap things up for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did let me know by dropping a like on it and if you are new to the channel or if you have not already subscribed yet every single day i got you covered with every single thing going on in the world of call of duty news updates loadouts tips you name it you are going to find it right here so feel free to hit that sub button and turn on those post notifications and as always if you want to check out any of my partners be sure to use code immortal for a discount on all scuff g fuel gamer advantage and control freak products and the links for all those can be found down in the description below but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you guys later peace out <laughs>